أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول أشهد أن محمد رسول الله. I am blessed with my palm, my right, and the man said, I can't eat with my right hand. I can only eat with my left hand. And our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, repeated three times to him. Please eat with your right hand and refuse to. As a result, our prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, became disturbed and said, May you never eat with your, right, with your left hand. And when he came after our prophet, peace and blessings, made that particular prayer on him, or that particular said that thing to him, he basically could not lift his left hand anymore. He could only eat with his right hand. Arrogance, refusal to accept. All this is this is mankind's disposition today, regrettably, and this is what's become of us. We refuse to take back what's said. We refuse to apologise. We refuse to yet acknowledge that when I apologise to someone, as much as it might be perceived as a sign of weakness, it's actually a sign of humility, because you're seeing beyond, you're transcended beyond the individual. You're seeing God in the whole equation. You're not seeing the individual, you transcend to be able to see God. And that's essentially what we want. The opportunity to be able to show our Creator, to employ His mercy through forgiveness and, uh, and allowing and having goodness to others. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he didn't read and write, he was unlettered as we know. And so those people, uh, and, and then Allah Alex says, that the writer cannot refuse when he's been asked to write this contract. Okay? He cannot say, I'm not writing this contract. I refuse to, I'm too busy. He says, no, as Allah has given him that skill set of the ability to write, he cannot refuse that special obligation, that request to write that particular transaction. Similarly to our transaction here is that we all have skill set. At the very minimum, as a Muslim community, at the very minimum, as a Muslim community, we have a lot of value add to give this community, to give back to the, our wider community. To give internally to the Muslim community and moreover to the wider community. That's our social obligation here. That's our social contract here I'm talking about here. The value of us as a community will be well established in the eyes, in the eyes of other communities when, like we saw in Christchurch, they will know our value when we're socially contributing. They say that social contribution leads to a sense of social inclusion. And the value of us as a Muslim community in the wider community will be recognised both internally and externally by virtue of what we contribute as a Ummah. And this is what I employ today our brothers and sisters to take home from this sutra. But let's think about social contribution in order to think about social inclusion. I'll put it by the head of Dr. Maradiola. Respected sisters and brothers, in conclusion, I ask the Lord today to make, especially in the light of the past events of the past few weeks that we've had, to have a, a very traumatic time. It's been a very turbulent time, we all conclude. And the coming out here today, both from the Muslim community and from the wider community, shows to me there are three things that are happening here. One is that 
We all want to be a sense of solidarity between us and the wider community. We feel so comfortable here in this space today. We are part of this fabric of this community. Outsiders coming to you. What we're seeing here today is part and parcel of being part of this multicultural community. It's not like, you know, wow, you must have been here, you know, it's really good. No. This is something we are part and parcel of the fabric of this community. From those people who are humble, who are recognised that what we have been gifted to say here today is from God, and we express our appreciation to God through thanking those people from the wider community, from the Muslim community, who have facilitated not only this, but all the support that's been given to the Muslim community. This is something that's been overwhelmingly gratifying to be able to come here as a, as a guy who was, you know, like many of us, born and raised here as a country person, born in the country, and seeing Australia where it's come to this particular point, where we have football, we have a Friday prayer here, at Federation Square without thinking, without lifting an eyelid because we think it's part and parcel of the transition going forward as a community that we are going to be more socially inclusive, more socially harmonious in Solar. We're going to have solid social cohesion built on respect that we have seen here today. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask God to keep us humble, to keep us all for like united on this path, to make us understand that our purpose here is to be God's vice steering, to be his servants here in this particular on this abode, so that we can obtain his bounty and salvation in the hereafter. And we finish off inshallah with a final prayer and ask God inshallah to, to bless this particular government. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي عذاب النار ربنا آتنا إدراكي جيدا كتير أسكرنا سنين الصلاة ونشرنا سنين في الراحة ونشرنا سنين في الراحة ونشرنا سنين في الراحة ربنا يسلم ورد وعسل أو الله ما يكون في الدنيا ما يكتبه أو الله ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإلا استغفرنا وتحمنا 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 أو أدوات we have done injustice to ourselves to our arrogance and our other disease and if you do not pardon us and forgive us then surely we will be from the losers who ask you are upon the right and here and to barak we have the to barak and hayat you know to give blessing in our lives to give blessing to our community to give blessing to our society to strengthen our leadership onto the path of truth and to remove arrogance from from us within us all of us collectively and all and into our and in our leadership اللهم آمين اللهم آمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أكبر الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة يقام في الصلاة قد يقام في الصلاة الله أكبر الله أهل الله